Okay, so your parents aren't gonna march with you in the gay pride parade anytime soon. Admitting they have a gay son, that would be like denying God for them. You know, a half hour ago you were ready to move out because you thought there was no way Layla and I would want you around. <laughs> and couldn't you be wrong about your parents too? Uh, Christian, the church my father goes to donates to a ministry that helps gay people not be gay anymore. He thinks AIDS is, is, is divine retribution against homosexuals. Well, maybe he'd change his mind if he knew his own son was gay. What's more important, making your parents happy or being happy yourself? Look, I know that some people have no problem cutting ties with anyone who won't accept them, but I'm not one of those people. But, but Fish... And I don't want to be, okay? No matter what my parents say or, or do or think... No matter how much they hurt you? They're still my parents, and I love them. Unfortunately, the only way for them to love me is for me to not be gay. Look, you guys, I'm... I'm really hungover, and I just need to take a shower, so I... No, Fish. We, we need to finish this. No, Layla, it's finished. Okay, I appreciate what you guys are trying to do for me, both of you. But I can't come out to my parents. Well, what are you going to do when they show up? I'll think of something. Sergey was watching, so I had to hook him up. I didn't know that you kept drugs on you. John told me to, so in case something like this happens, it wouldn't blow my cover. Even if it means screwing up someone else's life the same way I screwed up mine. Well, you said that the kid was one of Asher's regulars, so it wasn't like you were giving him his first taste. And you called John as soon as it happened, right? Okay, so he's taking care of it. This still doesn't mean I'm in the clear. You planted those drugs on my son, McBain. It's too bad that there's no evidence to support that. Hey, if you want to file a complaint, I'll give you the number for IA. They investigate me every week. Of course, then they would have to investigate Justin, too. That's no problem. My son doesn't do drugs. He's never been in trouble in his life. Mm -hmm. well, first time for everything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody's very sensitive to the timing of this arrest. I mean, what with the elections coming up and everything. I don't think there's any need to bring unnecessary attention to this. I am very willing to let Justin walk with a fine and a completion of a drug treatment program. No one has to know. It's your choice, Mayor. I could arrest Justin and have him face charges with a judge, or you can take him home. Please. Shut up. Uncuff my son. He is coming with me. Uh, let me get this straight. You want me to sign Taylor's divorce papers? Yeah. Give her what she wants. Mm -hmm. And then I lose one thing that I have over her. Absolutely. In exchange for... No strings attached. This is your plan. I will part of it. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I can't wait to, to hear the rest of it. Well, I know it sounds backwards. I mean, it might at first, but... You think? I mean, I, I'm giving up the, the one bargaining position I have for free. I, how do you figure? <laughs> because I know what I'm doing wrong. I don't think you know yes, what you're doing. I no, do. I don't think yes, you know. No, 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 because if I give Taya what she wants, she's going to marry Todd, and then we're both screwed, right? Lady, what do you have up your sleeve? Oh, I knew I spoke too soon. About what? This newfound reserve of patience I thought you had tapped into. I've been very patient. I asked you to give me some time. I gave you an hour. It's been 20 minutes. Well, don't tell me you need more time than that. You know what? I give up. <laughs> All right, is that a yes? <gasps> you know what? I don't even know what there is to think about. Oh, gee, Todd, I don't know. How about the rest of our lives? Our, our motives? The kind of marriage that we want? Well, my answer to all three of those is, uh, I want you. Well, you have me. No, I don't. Yes, you know you've been keeping me at arm's length for some time. I don't think I haven't noticed. Are you, are you waiting for another shoe to drop or something? Hey, listen. I got no secrets left. <laughs> That'll be a good day. 
A month ago, I walked into the cabana and found you and Blair having sex. All right, well, the rest of my cards are on the table. I am not going to fall back into bed with Blair again. I have no, no, you know, nasty schemes hatched that's going to hurt anyone I care about. You've got nothing to fear from me. But you still won't say yes. I mean, maybe I should have thought this through a little more, but... Just, just give me a day, okay? <sighs> just give me one day, all right? Come on. I don't know, maybe, maybe if I have to press this hard, it's not worth it. What, are you withdrawing your proposal now? <laughs>